When Karen's act out, Fantastic Freakouts comes calling. So sit back, try to relax, as we bring you the craziest Karens and Kevins of the week. Starting off, Walmart Pharmacy just pulled off a real penny for your thoughts moment, denying this guy his meds because he tried to pay in coins. Damn. So I can't get my medication because you don't take American money. Is that what you're saying? You don't take American money? Because that's what it sounds like you're claiming. You can't pay in so coins? You can't take American money. <sighs> Ridiculous. It's American money. You give it back in change every day. What is so hard? That's kind of... Ridiculous. <laughs> he keeps dropping all the hey, change. Why you have to get money to buy medication and you won't take it. Honestly, I'm not so sure if this guy's in the wrong here because you should be able to pay with coins. Um, unless there is something else that I'm not seeing here. Uh, that's kind of messed up, you know? Not everybody is rich, you know? Not everybody has a credit card. This is money. It's taken at every bank in the United States. It's taken at every business in the United States except apparently Walmart. Walmart doesn't take American money. That's what you're saying. You just turned down American money. You're saying it's worthless. Bye. Hmm. Uh, if you got money, they won't take it. Here comes a Karen. That's, that's weird, man. Um, unless there's some more context to that clip. I mean, money is money. Let the man get his medication. Here comes a Karen, fashionably late for her appointment. And suddenly, it's like a comedy show on speed dial. How late yeah, is she? Yeah, so that's going to be the soonest. Okay, it's the 16th today. Today's the 16th, yeah. It would yeah, be the 27th. 27. Yeah, the 27th is the okay, soonest. Okay, it is not my fault. I got off work late. I could not call you guys. Right. I am on the clock. Somebody right. for better find something sooner. Yeah, I can do April 27th. That's the no, soonest. No, 27th is not going to work. That's not the receptionist's fault. I mean, you should blame your work for letting you out so late i mean sometimes that's out of your control your work just keeps you later than what you expect but they have a policy you weren't there on time so they have to figure out a different time for you to come in this lady is just doing her job that's the soonest okay we can do. find something sooner i can't find something sooner find i done already sooner. told you i can't find something sooner There's nothing sooner because i'm not paying you full price if you can't find me something i'm not charging sooner. you nothing i'm okay, telling you the day something sooner. april 27th that's the soonest no. I can. first of all you better check your tone you better check that tone okay, okay you not. can go somewhere else if you like Bull try to take something out of my insurance i'll we're not going to take right. nothing out of your insurance. You don't have to worry about it. Because your doctor does. Okay. You can go somewhere else she if you like. She sounds a little Make tipsy. Because your doctor does. Okay. You can go somewhere else if you like. Make that appointment. See if I don't April 27th? <laughs> sure. Okay. What time do you want? Whatever time you have. Later I can do 8, 8 a.m. later. He doesn't do better. contacts in the afternoon. Bull because I have one at 4 o'clock and I... And today was the last day. That's not our fault. You. Oh late. my gosh, she's having such okay, a temper tantrum. So if you're talking to me like that, I'm gonna need you to exit and go to a different doctor because we're not gonna deal with you being late to your appointment. Okay. Get with her. Uh huh. Okay, so go to your job and tell them you have an appointment and you need to get off early. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Provide for your kids as an own income. It's not. Oh my God. So you getting on her for what? She told her right. I'm glad she stood up for herself because some people be way out of line, man. And see if you have any control. I'm not sure what that has to do with my account. That got shit to do with her. Okay, good for you. Good for you. I don't have child Okay. I do this on my own. So like I said. Okay. I'm playing for my I got off work late. Watch, I had transferred. I had already referred. Why don't she just leave? Over here. See if I refer one person. <laughs> All right, mom. Okay, cool. Bye. Your family. I hope you. 
Oh my god. Alright, have a good day. I would have said F you too. You need to go. You need to go. You need to go. Well, you've come across a wow. Karen bus driver. Goodness, I think the receptionist handled that as professionally as she could. Roll the clip. This bus driver makes my kids cry every day. Go ahead. Makes your kid cry every day. I love you. Have a good day. Please don't yell at my kids today. I don't yell at your kids. Yeah, you do. You're not too long. Don't yell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, first of all, who are you talking to? Oh, we ain't doing that. I'm gonna talk Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I'm asking you not, not to yell at my kids. How dare you tell yeah. me not to yell at your kids? Yes, they cry every day. Yeah. Wow. She definitely... I can't hear you. Oh, hell no, nah, did she flip me off? Oh, no, no, nah. I'm getting straight in my car and I'm going straight to the school to talk to somebody. Uber drivers probably encountered their fair share of wild Karens. She got me like this F one. Oh. What's the speed limit here? What's the speed limit here? Go back and drink. <laughs> I'm asking her a question. I'm talking to her, not you. It's 40 along here. 40. It's 40. Yo, let's go Portugal, huh? Huh? Let's go Portugal. I'm not really up into that. Let's go Portugal. Yeah, it's fine. What? That's called Portugal. What do you mean? Huh? No, boys. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What? I wish the camera was facing English? them. You're not. We got like 25 drunk people here yeah, that can't mind their yeah, business. This is the most NPC conversation I've ever heard. Karen's! Karen's! You do that! What's your problem? Oh, Get no. the call time for you. Oh, if she would have threw something in my car, bro. Hell no, nah, man. People attended and talked to me and the other people in the fat Karen who threw the full bottle of Gatorade Nothing was done and no charges laid. It's kind of wild to me that some people are actually brave enough to throw stuff at a car without knowing who is actually in the car. You don't know who you're dealing with. So this person could be goddamn Rambo for all you know. So here's the Kevin saga. He chows down on half the steak and then demands a refund. Oh, I mean, hell on, seriously, buddy? no. Even if you had asked for like half a refund, that would be kind of understandable, but a full refund? After you ate half the food? Bro, you ate half the food. If it was so bad, then why'd you eat it? Don't think so. Don't think so. So if the steak is bad, you still charge the customers, right? Yeah, you That's still ate it, boy. The policy is that when the steak is good, we charge them. If the steak is bad, we don't charge them. So who decides the steak is bad? The customer or the paying customer or the owner? Yeah, the customer. Or the manager. The customer he might sounds say like anything. he's talking to a donut. The, uh, the cook, okay. the manager, Dimitri so the the meat is bad, says it's good. So not the paying customer decide, but the manager of the place decide if the meat is good. The, the paying customer ate more than half of it. Yeah. Not more than half of it. Uh, yeah, you did. Right here. Yeah, I took here. a bite of it. Like, yeah, yeah, let's make a video of that too. Okay. Hey, the steak is perfectly good. Yeah, this is yeah, that shit is gone, bro. He was smacking on that like it was good as hell, I'm sure, but he wanted to get his money back. That's what it was. The steak, steak you ever seen. Yeah. Right. It's more than half. Yep. An ounce, 14 ounce steak. Okay. So the <laughs> customer served and you ate the diner. salad and you ate the soup. Yep. Uh, and this, you ate the bread. This manager you, is uh, waiting guys, for you. You have a great day. And we're going to have a wonderful here. time at Omega. I think he was betting on this video to go viral to have people back him up, but it just totally backfired and he looks like an idiot. You come back over here, okay? Why would I come back? No, I don't think so. This is the um, second time you guys did this. Oh the second boy. time? Folks, oh, we've nah, got ourselves an entitled Karen who's a bit puzzled about property rights in the First Amendment. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't be the first, and I sincerely doubt she'll be the last. I can already tell how her voice is gonna sound. You it? need to leave! Yeah. She's on my property. There's a sign. This is this is my property. 
This is my property. Okay. You need to be supervising her more. Yeah. I was supervising my daughter. Well, you weren't. I've got it on. I've got it on video. Okay. We're sitting on the bench, and she wanted to see the ducks. You can video me all you want. Yeah, I'm going to, okay. Karen. Okay. That's good. Because the ducks yeah. are going to come out. You don't. Good. You can't now assault. get off. Get off my property. Your property line? My property line's just down there. Get off my property. Hmm. Your child was. Shut up. Your child was chasing these ducks on our property. She's a child. Well, you need to supervise her. Okay. I was supervising. You weren't. You were over there. You, you need to supervise your child. Oh Don't my let god. her harass these animals on my property. Oh my god. Okay, the guy recording is being a little bit too extra in my opinion. If I saw a child that's just chasing after ducks on my property, I'm not gonna spaz out and tell her to fuck off my property. You know, that's a little harsh. I would just go and find her mom and say, hey ma'am, do you mind getting your daughter? She's on my property. I feel like this guy that's uh, behind the camera is being, you know, a little bit extra. People don't have a uh, any uh, parental guidance. Yeah, well they can obviously behave and your child can't. No. You get He's... it through your head, moron? Oh, nah. You know don't what? Don't... He's so unnecessarily angry. <laughs> Why is he so angry? I mean, this is all that we have to go off of, but my goodness, this guy seems like his life is miserable. You what? Off. No, you f off as well. This is in my property, you. Like I hear you said. You care about people paying tax, other people's property, other people's yeah, boundaries. You're entitled. Line. Put the line on. She was right up here. I do not consent to you filming me. I do not consent yeah. to you filming me on yeah. my property. I don't that's too. That's too bad. Okay. This is my it property. Matter. It does matter. It's my property. You still have to ask that person. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You need to read the law, woman. No, this is my property. This dude Take is so stupid. Take your off my property and off. Right here. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Right, right up to that line. What line? You need to supervise there your children. Right call the cops. You call it. We're on your property. <laughs> All right. This guy is All on right. a power trip. Right. Oh well. Concierge. I mean, it's not that serious. Granted, I get it. It's on his property. Okay. But, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think she's doing anything that would warrant that type of anger, you know? That's wild, man. Karen refuses to call the fire department for these people, stranded in an elevator for 90 minutes. Yo, why? Uh, yeah, those are the guys you call. What are you doing? You just don't want to? This is, it could be a potentially a matter of life and death, dude! And what? you guys refuse to call the fire department because you're gonna say Monday? Is because that the I, case? the procedure is for the security on site to do that, but I've let them know about, about how you're feeling. I've also let them know I'm... about the ETA, and they did tell me that there is no ETA at the moment. I can't give you something I do not have. Wait, Yeah, but what? call the fire department. It's emergency. Yes, of course, but as well, the fire department will also wait on the technicians as well, and even if they are on site, I've already let the security guard know that you guys requested the dispatch for the ambulance and the fire department, but... You're not calling it because it costs $10,000 to get fire department there. It's a way to save money on, on our suffering, so thank you. But I also need to keep the lines clear. Unless there is an emergency in the elevator, that is... We have a room. What the f***? is she talking about oh my god i'll be yelling my head off at this person you're not gonna call the fire department i mean because you think that this isn't an emergency these people are stuck in an elevator and i'm thinking this guy said that this woman's about to pass out who is on the other line that's about to pass out well it's not the emergency you need the line clear Oh, I would call You're dealing with the if I had service, I would call myself. I would call myself. That would piss me off, y'all. Next door, Karen must be like having a daily subscription to the neighbor drama show. Popcorn oh ready. Okay. Oh my god. You gotta get your dog. You gotta put your dog on a leash. You gotta keep your dog out of my yard. I love her. Sorry. Like, no, this is not a sorry thing. This is like the fourth or fifth time this has happened. Okay, don't get rowdy. I'm not getting rowdy. Okay. Recording. I'm not going inside. This is my property. I don't have to go inside. I'm not on your property. I never was. I'm not on your property. You're.
You look you look crazy. You look like you've lost. Show you crazy. Show me crazy then. Come show me crazy. I would love it. Yeah. Come show me crazy. I'm not taking my inside my own house. I can do what I want on my property. I I have barely even raised my voice at you. You're acting mm. ridiculous. You're acting like you're you're acting like a child. You guys go play and ignore this thing standing. You're acting like a child. You are a is this how you talk to people? Hey, Carrie. What language is this? Is this how you talk to people? Because I haven't disrespected you one bit. They sound like they're Mel they might be a Mel Mel Middle Eastern. I wish to God you put your hands on me. You Girl, you better get the f Or what? You're on my property. Be on You're whatever. What are you, black? You're black? She got to say what she got to say. No, and right. I haven't stepped over my property line, but I will make sure everybody knows you're a racist. Yeah. Come on. You are racist. I'm not you racist. You think you're black, so you're up in my face, right? Yeah. When she just got in her face. <laughs> no, I'm up in your face. Oh, she's you black, you guys. Be scared. Run. I don't give a flying You're purple. You let your dog run in my garage for the fourth time. My, my garage on my property. How am I wrong? I don't know how many times that this person that's recording um, has maybe approached this neighbor about her dog, but I'm thinking that this is the first time she's confronting this neighbor about this situation. I mean, if she was so mad about this, she would have maybe said something the second time that it happened. But if it's like the fourth or fifth time, and then you're like angry as hell that this is happening. I don't think this is the best way to handle it. You know, um, she, the person recording, you know, yeah, you might be upset, but I really feel like she should have went to the next door neighbors and said, Hey, I keep seeing your dog. Can you please keep your dog on a leash? There it is. I think this could have been settled a lot better if the person recording was a bit calmer and more poised about addressing the situation. And now you're gonna put your hands on your mother and push her too? Yeah, she's kind of that. I don't agree with, but I mean, I guess that's just what they do in her family. Have you lost your mind? You're scaring your children. I mean, that's really you're none of your concern. You're scaring your children. Is this how you're gonna act in front of your kids? Is this maturity? Because I asked you not to let your dog run in my garage. Yeah. Trying to do a record on the phone. I've already recorded you. you. I've been recording you. Absolutely. Hi guys. Oh, this I is love. a freak who had a alert telling me instead of being nice. I'm not gonna be nice. Take a look at this. <laughs> I need to see the rest of that video. <laughs> Take a look at this clip. Is this guy the real Kevin Deal, or is he just throwing a hissy fit at his ex coworker? Right. Uh, I don't think so. Shot about that? No. Like 100 positive. I'm pretty sure no. You don't even work at Winco? Well, why? What's the problem? I just want to be left alone, dude. Why? Because I, mean, I don't want me to just start saying to me. I don't no. <laughs> you know, I've never walked up to you in my life, bro. Oh, really? You didn't just say you to me when I when I last. No, because you, you called me. I didn't call you. I yeah, you did. You did. You did. Don't I act like that. I would never Get the you. away from me, piece of. You did. Uh, you know what? You're I need more context. I don't know what the fuck's happening. You didn't break it? Uh, uh, I used to work with him. He's a piece of so. Hmm. Apparently, he, he's like 45 and works at a grocery store. He came with kid flip. Did he skate T3 or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that means anything. <laughs> but yeah. I need more backstory. I don't know why that guy was so mad. He's a piece of Drunk Kevin performs okay. this beautiful choreographed dance. This looks like this is in a CVS. Yeah, he's on that shit. He's on that shit, bro. Call the cops, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Karen's out here Angel pointing does. fingers, claiming this business is borrowing from her culture. Check it out. Absalts. 
Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. What does it matter? <laughs> hmm. How's it going? Good, how are you? You want good things with Aurelia? Yeah, Charles Slush. Thank you. Well, it's coming up right now. Okay. What's the... What's the issue? I have a question. Are you guys black owned? Uh, we're not. Nah, no, we're all Indonesian. Okay, do you Indonesian think um, using this, you guys are not um, using black culture to get gain attention? Uh, no, no. Because you don't think this is black culture? Uh, I think is this Asian? Think everyone, everyone is this Asian uh, culture? Com the comedy house is definitely an Asian culture. That's what uh, no, but it's the trap house, though. Is that, is that Asian culture? That's not culture? a trap house. Yes, it is. That's the trap tea. I can show you where it's inspired from. Trap tea. Show you it's trap from. tea. Oh, my God. Really? Are you serious? This is not the way to do this if you think that they are trying to take from black culture. This is embarrassing, dude. If you have a question about the inspiration pertaining to their establishment, there's a way to do it, man. But grabbing your phone and pressing record and putting it in their face to get like a reaction to put it on TikTok or whatever fucking platform she uses, it's just clown behavior, man. That's so fucking stupid. Trap tea, trap tea, the boba plug. You're using black culture to gain customers. This establishment is uh, not black owned, oh but using gosh. just stealing black culture. Is this not black culture? Trap tea, the boba plug? No, you're thieves. Asian Asian people stealing black black culture once again. Once again. It's okay, you'll be exposed though. You're not black owned. You're stealing black This is this is not the way to do it, man. This ain't the way to do it, man. Again, I don't have a problem with her questioning the inspiration of this establishment, but she is going about it terribly wrong. Why not just have a conversation with the owner and ask the questions that you want to ask the person? Thank you're you for coming. Black that is so no, stupid, man. because I thought it was black owned. That's why I came here. I told my friends, I'm supporting a black business. This is not black owned. You're not, this is not black owned. That is cap. She already had this planned out. Stealing, stealing black culture. Once again, uh, you don't talk. Oh, whoa. Whoa. You calling that man up? You call the C-word, bro? Watch this Target adventure. Yeah, she's way out of pocket. Way out of pocket, man. Ugh. Her unfold as a rather offbeat lady gets an unexpected ride courtesy of a security guard. What's going on here? We don't allow them to record in the store. It's a public place. Yeah, we can record. Can you pick up my brother's Wait, hold, wait, wait, wait. This man doesn't even work here. What the fuck are you talking about? There's no recorder in the store. Motherfucker, you don't even work here. Big pun. Granny's got oh some my. serious <laughs> bumper bonding skills. She's cozied up to the car behind her. Since my car, you're trying to evade the scene. Let's get the license number. There it is. What is she? Oh. Wow, she's skint up. Yo, shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got the license plate. She about to hit your shit again, bro. <laughs> got everything. <laughs> I'm not leaving the crime scene. Leaves. <laughs> okay, I've had it. You call the police. Call them. And you show where your car is. Excuse me, could you stop the language, please? Oh, stop with the language. Oh, I did them. You could snowflake in your little lily white. Could you please stop with the language? Off! Stop with the language. Off! Could you okay, Granny, you fuck off. around and have a heart attack. Oh, get off my car. There's a child off. inside. Oh, is that? There's a child inside. Off! Oh, is what your daddy learned. Excuse me! Where are you? Step back from my. Back from my. Please step. Jesus, she is just. Jesus Christ! 
What was that, like 20 Fs, F-bombs? Step, <laughs> step, step, step away from the <laughs> The video's like... Uh, <laughs> she threw out like 30 F-bombs, man. <laughs> I'm telling you now. It was probably oh, fun I'm editing this. Asking you, step away. <laughs> step away My from me. Like, uh, I would be grateful uh, if you uh, could say, <laughs> Yes, there is a child in there. Yeah, I know. There's a child inside in the car. Jesus. Hello, my name is Dr. Annette. I am a scandal. Right? What is she calling for? Hello, yes. She's the one that hit the man. Hello. Yes, yeah, she crashed into my car and there's a child in the car and she's talking to me like that. She's on the phone to the guards now, the way she's speaking there, everything. Gamden Inn. Right. Sorry? Oh, yeah, I'm just gathering. Just... What's happening is this has been in a white car. I mean, she messed up. Just own up to it, lady. She's just really trying to get out of this. I know I'm going to ignore her. Just, just the attitude there and everything. Thank you for stopping. Thank you. The red of the car is very silly. He's a little fellow in a little white car. The range of his car is one little six, fella. One, six, one, six. Hmm? See, what I hate about this is she's going to try to spin the story to make it seem like it was the guy's fault. Get out because he has blocked me. No, I would have left the scene. Into my car. She's clearly in the wrong, but is determined to outperform the victim. Look, I gotta respect it on some level. She's hustling for something, even if that something is really stupid. I don't respect that. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do you mind? Excuse me, don't you touch oh, my vehicle? You do touch my vehicle. This man How dare you? Excuse me, there's a child in the car and she's oh, speaking like this. The child is crying. Get away from us. Get away from my car. All right, Granny. Get away from my car. Get away from the car. I do need to argue with him because he's a little bit. Can you get away from my car? You behave yourself. You get away from me. I asked you to back off. Get your finger out my face. Step away from me. Step away from me. Step away from me. There's a child, in, there's a child inside in the car. How dare you? Thank you very much. She way too old to be carrying on like this, man. It's like, I want to feel sympathetic because she's old, but she is really irrational. <laughs> how dare you? Oh, listen, how dare you? Don't, just hang on for the guards. Do not, don't, just, it's oh, okay. Listen. Just hang Do you on think I don't deal with people like you from time like to me, time? Like me, like me. Like you, ignorant, entitled, rude. And that's you. you check your mirrors just before you reverse there. into okay. people? We just hang on for them. It's okay. It's not... It's an accident. It's okay. It's the placement of his car. It's not an accident. But it's okay. In actual fact, you, you reverse into a space and you drive out. It's okay. Do you think that's not what I was trying to do? You reverse into a space and you drive out. You reversed out into Where me. Where did you get that idea? It's the law. It's, a, it's okay. It's an accident. You just wait for the guards. It's okay. <laughs> I'm actually not upset. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not upset. All right. <laughs> dealt with louts before, Just louts. and I don't back away from them. No. She was a, she was the one throwing out like forty fucks. You have to wait for the guards. You have to wait for them. You're not supposed to move your car. You're not supposed to move your car. Don't 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 so rude. So rude. Have you any... Rude. The way you're speaking in front of rude. a child. Oh, a child. Yes, a child. A child. Oh, listen, can we get any more snowflakely and politically correct than this? Huh? Well, the child's father's coming now. Oh, great. What the she fuck does into that have to do with anything? And the language the out of her... The coming. The guards are coming. Right? And you may not move this car. You're the one that moved your car. You're I the one that was, was trying to get out after you hit my car. Oh, no, before, how, after you hit Dude, my car. I have you on video. 
Oh, I have you on video. On video. Hey, Twitter and tweet. All right, that went on for entirely too long, but I got the gist of it. But yeah, this was a crazy compilation, y'all. Um, the chick that went into the Indonesian um, restaurant, like, yo, even if you think that they were trying to steal from black culture, I think there's a way to go about it. I mean, I don't think what she did was right at all. Trying to just put a video camera in somebody's face and try to get a reaction and have TikTok or Twitter or wherever she planned on posting that video, uh, try to back her up. Again, if she was curious about the establishment, all you have to do is just ask them about it and have a conversation about it. You don't have to be so just brash about the whole thing, but she was really looking for some clout and some views. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace!